Hi guys, Stuart and Louise again from DD Tours. I've got a cracking wee story for you today that actually happened in 1872, eh? Yeah, now the location that the story took place on is reported as Crichton Street, but it looked very different back then for sure. today. And it was on a little close that backed onto an old street called The Vault, kind of where the city square now is. So don't think about modern Crichton Street, it's old buildings. For sure, yeah. Much <laughs> older conditions as well. Now it's actually on the 27th of June in 1872 that a woman, Catherine McGilvery, ends up in court. Now, here's how they describe Catherine as she enters the courtroom. They're like, 35-year-old Catherine McGilvery is a stout woman. They say that she's carrying a babe on one hip, blind in one eye, and that she's got a dirty, slovenly appearance. Now, that's by the 1870s standards, so goodness knows what that must have been like. Honest to God, they got a while we oh. were writing any, even if it was quasi slanderous but then. Yeah. Now, it might sound quite funny, but her charges are very, very mm. serious, aren't they? Yeah, they are. She's actually accused of the willful murder of her downstairs neighbour, Jane Chalmers, by pushing her down that stairwell to her death during an argument. Now, Catherine says that she is as innocent as the baby that's in her mm -hmm. arms as she stands there in that dock. But there's one PI witness who says very, very different. Oh, Betsy McLean says she was there that day, saw the whole thing happen. So she takes the stand to give her testimony. Now, she says that on this day, that Jane and Catherine were arguing. Now, they argued all the time, these two. To be they? fair, they did fight like twat yeah. cats. They always made up, though. Well, we this being the notable exception. <laughs> <laughs> so, they're screaming and arguing with each other. Betsy says that Catherine turned to Jane and said to her, you, get out of here, down you go, and then pushed her down the stairs. Now, these were nine big Deep stone steps she went down. She, Betsy said that Jane's head boons off at every single one of these stairs on the way down, splitting it open like a melon. Her head was burst open, there was blood everywhere, her brains were hanging out. She was absolutely mortified and she shouts at her, Oh my God, look what you've done, you've killed her. Catherine just walks down the stairs, steps over the body, turns around to Betsy and says, Go to hell, Betsy, and just left the closet. Oh my word, now you can just imagine Betsy telling that in the court. What a dramatic oh, retelling that she must have been. Moment, well, she's told her story, Betsy gets down from the stand, but the thing is, there's another witness, another person that says, well, her version of events is a bit different, shall we say, it from sure Betsy's. Is. And we'll tell you that in the next video, so stay tuned.